Hello, welcome to an Not So Awesome Review. Today we're looking at the Disney's Nightmare Before Christmas Clown Funko Pop number 452 in the wave. And again, it doesn't say Disney on the box, but I, I improp that in there so smoothly, not really. Anyways, this is the clown with the tear away face, but his face does not tear away, though you can see where it would detach if it did. And that would have been such an awesome feature for this guy if they hadn't made it so his face could come off. That I would have absolutely loved it. Uh, aside from that, he's actually really good. There's a lot of detail, a lot of stuff going on there, and a thumbprint on the left eye, which is kind of funny. I think it's a thumbprint. It might just be dust. Okay, it's just dust. It's dust. We're good. We're good. If you guys don't know, Pops sometimes are covered in dust. That came off pretty good. But yeah, let's just take a closer look here. You can see, just in the face alone, there is a lot of detail going on. You got the red nose, got the black glossy eyes surrounded by this kind of cream thing going on there the red cheeks on either end, the mouth, which is sculpted with all this line work, which looks creepy, the teeth, which look really good, and the black matted color underneath, which is amazing. He does have the line, like I said, going through the front of his face where it would tear off if it tore off. We got the sculpted ears on, we got this hat, which has this really nice green and purple that matches so well, the little propeller thing on his head, which is painted. Even the tip of it is painted a different color to match kind of the stem going there. The brown on it looks really good back of it you know it's pretty plain but really good aside from the little bit of yellow paint there and what he's wearing again a lot of detail going on we got the sleeves that match the hat they don't line up perfectly with the lines uh you know the purple here is kind of off if you guys can tell but it's fine it's not a big deal he does have this polka dotted kind of thing going on here a little bit of sculpt work on the the collar in the front and in the back he has this really nice belt with a bunch of stuff on it. He has the belt loops. He has the silver star with the purple in the middle. He has like a choking chicken, uh, some type of, I'm thinking that's a buzzer. It might be a yo-yo, but I think that's like a buzzer or something. I don't know. I'm not sure. I would say yo-yo. I, you know, I think it is a yo-yo. It does have a paddle thing with a little ball thing. You can see the little star right there, which is again, awesome. The little horn part. And on the other hand, he's holding a unicycle, which is again, painted black silver silver blue silver yellow black and it's glossy black and it's a nice shiny silver that is awesome that's not something you would see from even a lot of like action figure companies won't have an action figure with this much variety of paint love it uh anyways the purple even on him on his actual thing he's wearing is a different purple from the rest of it it's like a lighter color the socks match the sleeves and the hat and the shoes are a nice brown and I gotta say, it's just so amazing the amount of detail they put in to this one pop. For a side character who has like one line in the movie, I believe, I don't know, he might have more, but I, I don't think he has too much if he does. He's there, he does make a notable in appearance, words are hard, in the song and everything. Um, like I said, he's the clown with the tearaway face. I just really wish that his face actually tore away. That's the only thing missing from him. Otherwise, again, in the other really good pop, a really, really good Funko Pop with all the detail, all of the just minute detail and paintwork, really bring it out. Again, a lot of action figure companies won't go into as much detail as Funko did with this one thing. So I got to give it to them on this one. He came out amazing. Looks good. The face looks amazing. Everything about it is awesome. And I highly recommend it. And just for a quick comparison, because I have him out here, here he is next to the vampire teddy and the little duck that comes with him. Uh, both of them, very great, very awesome. I love him more just for the fact that he's a flying teddy bear that's a vampire. He has so much better detail than him. They're both good in their own way. I recommend both of them and um yeah not much else to say here other than this video was brought to you guys by the av pop shop so check out their instagram linked in the description down below and subscribe for more and i will see you all later thank you for watching goodbye